I didn't know what to draw for a lotus candle holder, so I drew the white lotus symbol from Avatar. What should I draw on my chalk wall? Slowly running out of chalk wall ideas? Not really, but I'd still really like your guys' suggestions. What was your favorite chalk wall piece? What would you guys have drawn for this week's chalk art? Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a $5 candle from Target into something that definitely doesn't look like it's $5. I'm going to show you guys how to make a lotus candle holder using some spoons, some hot glue, and some spray paint. This is a great little gift idea that you can make using things that are relatively inexpensive. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include plastic spoons, some wire cutters, a hot glue gun, some glue sticks, some small candles with a lid. I got these from Target. Sandpaper and some gold spray paint. First, remove any stickers on your candle. You want to make sure that the surface is clean and dry before you start working with it. Once you've cleaned up your candle, go ahead and set it aside. Next, you're going to prep your spoons for the outside of your candle holder. For this project, you're going to need 32 spoons. For this project, you're going to create four different types of spoons. Each spoon is going to be a different layer on your lotus, and what you want to do is create a slightly shorter spoon for each layer. You're going to create eight of each piece. After you've measured out all of your pieces, you're going to trim the handle. Carefully take your pliers and just using the sharper end, you're going to carefully snap the spoon right off. Be careful when you're doing this and avoid pointing anything towards your face so that you could have a nice clean cut on your spoon. While trimming your spoons, you want to make sure you keep organized. Use your markers to make the same little color on each side so that you know which spoon is gonna be used for which level. After you've trimmed and marked all the edges of your spoon, what you wanna do next is use your sandpaper to smoothen out the edges so that it's not pointy or sharp. Next, take the lid of your candle and you're going to start applying the spoons onto the lid. Starting with a spoon that has the longest handle, you're gonna apply a small amount of hot glue to the edge and then you're just gonna gently place it onto the edge of your ring. You wanna leave some space at the end. Make sure all eight of your spoons are attached evenly onto your candle lid. To do this, you attach one and then apply the other one right across from it. After applying the first four spoons, it's a little easier to apply the next four, just because all you really have to do is glue it right in between the ones that you already put onto your lid. After you've applied your first eight spoons onto your holder, you want to make sure that your candle fits inside of the first eight spoons. You also want to make sure that none of the spoons are touching the candle itself, just so when you light this up, none of the spoons will melt. After you've glued and secured your first eight spoons, you're going to apply the next layer. Take your spoon with the second longest handle and you're going to put three contact points of hot glue onto your spoon. Put one dot of glue on the handle, and then put a light amount just on the edge of your spoon. You want to do this just so that you have enough so that that glue can actually stick onto the two spoons that it's going to be placed in between of. Take your spoon and apply it right in the middle of those two spoons. Do this to all eight pieces. After you've applied your second layer of spoons, you'll notice that the lotus bud is starting to take shape. Before you apply your third layer of spoons, you're going to actually place it above the first spoon in between your second two layers. You wanna do this just so that you have an idea of where the contact points are for your third layer. Take your spoon, place your hot glue on your three contact points, and then carefully just place it right above the first layer of spoons. You want to be very careful when you're doing this and you want to make sure that the end does not touch the end of your lid. While you're applying your layers of spoons onto your lid, you want to make sure you remove all the extra stringy hot glue pieces 
that may have been added while you were putting on your spoons. Your last layer is actually going to be the trickiest out of the four layers of spoons. Just because you'll notice as the lotus is starting to blossom, this is going to be the most outer layer. It's going to have your three contact points, but you also have to make sure you know where those points are since it's going to be sticking out the most compared to your three. Take your last set of spoons, apply your three contact points, and this layer is just going to go right above the second layer of spoons. After you've applied your fourth layer onto your candle holder, what you want to do is you actually want to secure all the ends of your pieces to the lid. Take your hot glue and just make sure that all the spoons are secured onto your lid. After you've glued your spoons onto your holder, you could either leave it as it is, or you could use some gold spray paint just to make it look that much more classy. Um, thanks again for watching, get crafty crafty. Come back next time to see what fun projects we're gonna make. Make sure you check out the other projects that we made for our fall series. If you do make this cool Lotus style candle holder, make sure you share it using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag, either on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Uh, thanks again and come back next time.